Okay, so checking in. We just got here. I got my drink that was included. Let's try it out. That is definitely, it's pretty strong for what it is. <laughs> So uh, we're just getting started. It's not even 11 o'clock. It's not even 11 o'clock. No, it's 11.30. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. So here's the beginning of the market. Gonna check it out. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit after I finish my drink. All right, so we are here at Lydia's booth. First booth we stopped at. Now you guys know that I have mentioned it before, how many porcelain dolls I have at home and how grandmother always wants to get rid of them. But I'm saying, we could turn them into a project. <laughs> so if we ever get tired of them, maybe this is where they'll end up. So here's my official first purchase here at uh, the flea market. Look at this. Is this not gorgeous? This is, uh, she told me this is a hundred year old watch face. It even had one of the watch hands still on it. So this is the necklace I ended up buying. She customized it to my size and you guys know me, I'm super short. So of course she had to make it really, really short. And it's kind of like a choker. Ooh, come here. Um, but I think it's gonna look, it looks really great on, and you guys will probably catch me wearing it on cast sometime. Yeah, super happy with it. Okay guys, checking in again. I just wanna say that it is windy as hell. My hair is totally destroyed. But we uh, stopped for food, so I'll show you guys what I got. Brave the lines of Adam's grub truck, which had a lot of interesting stuff, although they were out of pulled pork, which was kind of a bummer. I got uh, these sliders. One is uh, panko crusted chicken and one's garlic chicken. They look pretty good. And then they forgot my fries, so I got a giant thing of them. But we're hanging out here on the lawn. Nice view of the city over there, so I'm gonna dig in. Okay, I just wanna say that this is bomb as hell even though it's already starting to get cold because it's so ungodly windy out here on Treasure Island. So something I actually find really interesting about Treasure Island Flea Market is that here's the flea market over here and then over on this side, there's a bunch of abandoned barracks. Treasure Island was a naval base, and all these windows are completely broken. And it looks really odd, and I just want to go in there and look around. I suppose that's a crime, since there's a sign right there saying no trespassing. They knew what I was thinking. You know what, though? I'm going to go as close as I can. Look at this. Don't you just want to go in here? I love... Okay, these are definitely broken windows that have been painted over. I don't know why. I love this place. And there's more, more and more signs telling me not to do exactly what I want to do, which is get, get in there and investigate. This is where rattlesnakes live. Okay, guys, so we're here at another booth. This is Sleeping Apple Designs. Now, Victoria Dryden's booth is very sweet. Just talking to her. I purchased one of these bath bombs. So we're gonna try it out later. Got one of these guys here. They had a gardenia scent, which uh, hint hint, it's my favorite, my favorite flower, my favorite scent ever. So of course I had to pick one up. She also makes her own soap. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is what I ended up purchasing from Sleeping Apple Designs. They had a gardenia, the gardenia scented bath bomb. It's really pretty. It smells really good. 
She even added some like gold and green on here. It looks really nice. I'll let you guys know how it is. But I'm uh, super happy with it. I don't know why. I've been really wanting to buy a bath bomb. And uh, I haven't had one in years. And I love the scent. So I'll let you guys know. <laughs> okay guys, we're at m and Brittany homemade gourmet dog biscuits and treats. We got some big ones here. And I'm going to show you guys what I picked up for Ozzy. Because he's going to love it. This is peanut butter ones, which I could actually probably eat myself, looking at the ingredients. So uh, I'll let you guys know how he loves them, but I know, I know he will. Strolling through the flea market. I feel like it's gotten more crowded. I think we're about three quarters of the way done right now. Making our way along. I want to say the party booth is over here, so I can hear it. And there are so many dogs here. Part of me wishes I brought Ozzy, but part of me knows he would have just completely been overwhelmed. And probably pee on everything, like the rest of them. Gives it a nice pop of color. The last thing that goes in is your hair You also have all these add ons to take Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I came to this place looking for this booth. <laughs> I wanted to make one of these terrariums so bad. I made this myself. Is it not adorable? It's like, I mean, it's a really simple concept. It's just a fish bowl with uh, some sand and rocks and pebbles and some moss and a little a little figure. I picked out this cute little cat with a three face. And then an air plant. If you guys don't know what air plants are, it's this little dude. There are actually a couple booths that have them here. Um, they don't grow in the ground. They grow like this. I think, you know what? That's a good, I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know exactly where they come from originally. I think they cut this off something else, but you don't have to put it in the ground. You put it in water once a week for an hour and that's it. And then it just grows. That's all you have to do. Isn't that awesome? I mean, I don't think even, I've, I'm not the best gardener and I can't really keep plants, but I think even I can keep this alive. This is going straight on my desk at work.